I'm going to talk a lot, so I have to drink. Okay, let's go. Everyone, welcome on this special occasion for a Q&A because we just reached 1K sub. How can I reach 1K subs and still have 80% of people not subscribe to my videos? That, that, that is crazy. So please, please, please subscribe. Let's go back to the Q&A session. We have a lot to cover. Let's go. Okay, first question is from David Jones 2001. Where in the world do you come from? Uh, well, if you didn't already guess by my beautiful accent, I come from a little city called uh, Nantes. Nantes is a little red point I, I'm going to, to show you there uh, in the west of France. It's a great city, very, very nice city. And the great thing is it just really, really close to Hellfest. So I can go to Hellfest every year like that. Okay. Great. Next, uh, Episcord is asking me, will you ever cover a French song or do a cover in French? I'm not going to lie, guys. I don't really like singing or hearing uh, songs in French. Um, now, the idea of taking a, a, a song and making it to French is kind of cool. I like the idea. I already uh, thought about that and I, I thought it would be a great idea to do it on uh, Journeyman by Iron Maiden on the album Death, Dance of Death which is a great album. If it works and if you guys enjoy, I will make more soon. Okay, KH, uh, KH Pandas is asking who was the first band you saw live? It was during the Eddie Rip Sub Tour in 2005, so the lineup was Iron Maiden as a headliner and Dream Theater and Within Temptation. I remember it being a great, great show. Within Temptation, I'm not too much of a fan. Then Dream, Dream Theater came up. I remember thinking, damn, that, that, that guitarist is quite great. I remember also thinking, what the hell is wrong with that singer? I love his voice on, on, on the CDs, but uh, in live it's quite different. And, and I then learned about his problems he had with... Well, <laughs> I'm joking, but it's not really funny. I really love James Lubbery, but this story of uh, eating a shrimp and then uh, cutting your vocal cords, he, 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 <laughs> It's not just unreal. <laughs> it's unreal. Uh, and then Iron Maiden came up on the stage and it, it, it was really amazing. They were playing back uh, the first four albums. It was really great. Tony Vox, next question, is asking favorite quote from a movie. I, 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 have, I have so many things in my head right now. I'm going to the easy ones. Uh, uh, do or do not. There is no try. <laughs> Who will rule the world first? Shrimps or bards? First, first, because one way or another, the two will rule the world. Shrimps and bars, we are doomed. I can't say I'm really happy about both of them, but shrimps are, are scary. I would go to bars because at least bars can be funny. Oh, Bradley Hall is asking, uh, congrats first, thank you. Uh, do you hope to uh, do YouTube full time one day? or do you like keeping it as a hobby? Uh, it started as a hobby, it still is, and I think it's it's a bit unreasonable to think I'm going to live from YouTube one day. I still have this wild dream of, of living from music in general, not only YouTube, but everything. Uh, I don't believe in it. Short answer, maybe, uh, it's not yes, it's not no, it's a big maybe, but anywhere we put uh, as much effort as I can into it, uh, whether it is a hobby or, or a job. Okay, so Olivier Boursier, do you like mountain climbing? <laughs> I think I have to explain there. One day we were joking in the comments and I, I said something like, oh, you know what, if by the end of the year I have uh, 200 subs, I will go on a mountain and do an epic song, an epic cover. Uh, and it's a challenge accepted. Uh, <laughs> and now, of course, I had <laughs> 200 subs at the end of the year <laughs> and I wasn't really expecting that. I do like to keep my uh, promises. So um, as soon as the situation allows it, I will take my car, I will drive and I will do a pretty epic video on the top of a mountain. Tell me in the comments uh, if you want me to do a specific song on the top of a mountain. I, I need something really, really epic. And I do like mountain climbing, it's great. Okay, next question is... Jam, Jam Bizarre? Jean Bizarre? <laughs> 
genre bizarre. <laughs> Very French, I don't think it's French. Back to the question. My joke was so bad. Uh, who are two YouTubers you've not had a chance to work with yet, but would really love to collaborate with in the future? Putting icons everywhere. If I had to choose two vocalists, maybe, Anthony Vincent, but, but his, his voice is crazy. And for parity, uh, if I had to choose a girl, I would go with <coughs> suspense. Violet or Landy. I love uh, covers of Nine Inch Nails, uh, Head Like a Hole. And oh, a very small YouTuber but very great uh, is Siegfried Song. And then if I had to choose maybe one guitar player, he rock is great. He still has his <laughs> crazy smile. So I would go with he rock. Uh, not be because of his style of playing, but uh, mostly because he, he, I want to be friends with him, <laughs> so to like that. Okay, uh, next one from Jack Harris. Hello Jack, uh, who are your biggest influences in music and have you ever met them? So the part, have you ever met them, it just no. No. Uh, when it comes to bands, so Dream Theater, Iron Maiden and uh, Megadeth. I listen to them so much that maybe I don't listen to them that, that much lately. When it comes to guitarists, uh, my main influences are John Petrucci and Guthrie Govan. And when it comes to vocals, oh, that's, that's kind of impossible for me to tell. But uh, Bruce Dickinson is probably one of the best. And Matt Barlow from Ice Earth, I think is one of those few vocalists that can do very emotional ballads, maybe too much emotional sometimes. And, and big heavy sounds and it's exactly the kind of things I want to be able to do. I want to be able to do all that and then just have to choose what I do prefer in singing. So Tony Kako is, yeah, Tony Kako is it just, it's just amazing. All right, so uh, I have another question by MAD9977 uh, Productions. Uh, are you actually or have you been singing in a band? Just met a uh, great band in Nantes. Uh, we are going to see if we can record some stuff and I think it's, it's going to be great. Uh, but uh, yep, yep, uh, this may happen soon. What band inspired you the most or made you start into metal? First, my dad was a big listener of, uh, of rock, hard rock, and he, he mostly listened to dad bands, but it, it wasn't dad bands for him back in the days. Uh, Led Zeppelin, Queen, Kansas, Deep Purple. So I listened a lot to, the, to those uh, and Scorpions. Uh, and then I remember a trip in Europe. Uh, there was a guy in the trip that had uh, some CDs. And I remember there was an Iron Maiden, Angra, Ed Guy, Dragon Force. And I listened to those bands uh, for like a week and then never stopped. Uh, Alex Scott, uh, how many baguettes do you consume per week? <laughs> okay. The answer may disappoint you, but not as much as you could think. Some French people just take a baguette every day. Uh, me, I am more around maybe one a week. So yeah, one baguette a week. Yep, next. So Jean-Baptiste is asking the last concert you went to. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh, that's a good one. It was the Bay Area Strikes Back with Exodus, Testament and Death Angel. I have, actually, I have a kind of, of funny story. Not, not the one that almost got me punched in the face, but another one. I, I went to this show with very light shoes. You know, uh, not very, very good shoes. And I was uh, right into the mosh, um, mosh pits, wall of death and circle pits and everything. And people were, were just crushing my feet. And, and they were crushing, crushing, crushing. And at the end, uh, end of the show, my, my feet were in pain. When I got back home, I, I watched my feet and there was blood. There was blood everywhere because two of my nails were just cut in half. That was not great. And a few days or weeks later, I said they just fell. I had no nails anymore and it took me like a year to have nails back. No, now I have new ones. <laughs> yeah. Uh, can you sing and play guitar at the same time? Well, yes, I can. Uh, I did it for many years uh, while singing uh, Metallica and Megadeth and Annihilator. So, I can do this, but I have to learn uh, the song really, really well, both on vocals and guitar. Okay, next one is V Solitude and is saying congrats and I'm saying thank you. What face do you pull when a riff comes back slower? Or like, um, like a breakdown? Best way to know is to try it. Uh, Alexa, Domination Pantera sur Spotify. 
Okay, so that was the face. It's not a great face, but it's my face. <laughs> the next question was what nasty riffs versus tasty solos, which do you prefer and why? That's kind of an impossible question because it's not the same thing at all. Uh, that's hard, but I think I'm going to choose Nasty Riffs because I think rhythm players do not get enough credit for writing amazing riffs. So that's it, rhythm. Next one is from M. Grokey. How some men, congrats and thank you, M. Grokey. Uh, top five favorite non-metal bands. Ooh, that's... That's not an easy question at all. Uh, I listen a bit to some bands uh, because I listened to them when I, I was a kid. Uh, Kansas, Queen, Johnny Cash, Credence, Clearwater, Revival, a bit of movie music, yeah. And Queen of Stone Age sometimes. And I don't know if Nine Inch Nails is metal, depending on the album, but I listen a lot and I still listen to a lot to Nine Inch Nails. And the question, uh, quick studio tour, not for today. Uh, maybe I will make a video about it. Uh, tell me just if you're interested in seeing a video where I explain my setup, how I record and things like that. And then if uh, enough people are interested, and I will do it. High chance. Uh, how long have you worked on your singing and how did you develop such power in your higher range? Uh, like I started guitar really early and I, I, I did sing uh, while playing. I sang a lot of Metallica, Megadeth and Thrash Metal early on. Uh, I just started working really on the technique about one year and a half ago. To sing with power, uh, okay, I, I think this deserves a really dedicated video. There are uh, like two things really important. The first thing to do is when you sing you have to retain the hair. When people uh, smoke and are talking to you sometimes they do and then they keep the smoke in and they tell you oh yeah 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 I know and then they breathe out and during singing you have to keep it in and when you sing you don't breathe out you just push with your um, abdomen. The second uh, factor is like when you you go on the street and you see someone and you say, hey, you, you feel that something is, is pushing you. Hey, hey. Now you combine the two, uh, you block, you push and you sing. This is um, a balance between pushing and, and retaining. The more you push and the more you retain, you're going into a saturated voice. If you just open a bit more, you will stay a bit clean. So if I would like to sing a part and be clean, I would go something like, uh, No more breath inside! And the same thing with retention here. Uh, the feeling of the pitch is the exact same thing, and it's just you retain everything here and you push. No more breath inside! Uh, if you want a big course on that, I don't know if I can do this because it's kind of hard to explain, but if you really want those kind of things, I could try and do something a bit longer and with a bit more explanation for people that don't know exactly how to sing. Oh yeah! What is your vocal routine in terms of warming up? Uh, I tend to use my uh, technical training as my warm up. I train five days a week, maybe one hour, one hour and a half max, uh, using the Ken Templin course. Uh, and I tend to record my uh, YouTube videos just after that that training. So this training is great because it uh, enables me to work on my vocal technique. It warms me up. Then I take a 20 minute break and I come back to record and, and when I record it, it's much much better. I've done it for the last, last two months now, uh, recording after my technical exercises and, and, and it's great. It's really great. Would you rather fight one last sized duck? It's hard to tell. One last sized duck or 100 duck size larses. <laughs> That's a great question, Zisari Wiesner. Zisari Wiesner. As I am pretty keen on having epic battles, I would probably say I want the big last sized duck. <laughs> Just the, the main reason is because I want to hear what sound it, it makes really <laughs> like is it a big quack <laughs> or is it still a bit uh, a, li a little quack? <laughs>
What kind of question? Okay, next one. Amaris, do you prefer pee pee poo boo or poo poo pee pee? Great, great, very, very interesting question. <laughs> uh, surprisingly, it's not quite difficult to answer. I think there is a natural order and you always have to think of what's natural. So I would go to uh, pee pee poo poo first because most, most of the time you're going to, to do that in that order. That was kind of instructional. Okay, last question. A fellow metalhead asked to me a favorite death metal vocalist. I, I like listening to death metal, but I'm not a really good death metal specialist. So I'm going to tell you what is closer for me to death metal. And uh, Gojira, of course. Joe Duplantier. Uh, he's a great singer, I think. And mostly Gojira is a great band. Uh, then Chin of Bottom, of course. More melodic side of death metal, I, I guess. Uh, Amon Amarth, he just he's just a great band. I really, really like the idea of, of saying, oh yes, let's do a Viking band. Oh, it seems like it's done and I stopped talking for some time. Okay, if you still have questions, uh, you can still ask them in the comment. I will try to answer to everyone, of course. And as a last word, thank you all for voting for the next video. It seems like we are going to have a history of metal ballads video. To be honest, I'm quite surprised because I was expecting a video to go much, much higher than others. And it's quite impressive to see that almost all videos were okay. Uh, so uh, maybe I will have to do all of them yet. <laughs> okay, thank you everyone. It was a pleasure uh, answering your question and I will see you on the next video. Bye bye.